Welcome. Hi, George Headley again with Hard Hat Biz Coach. Well, today I thought I'd talk about the role of a managing manager. Managing manager is not a project manager. Well, it can be, but generally they're people and managers who manage other people, other managers, other supervisors. So the question is, how do you manage? Most of the guys I talk to say, well, I walk down the hall, I see them every day, I talk to them every day, I talk to my guys every day. Yeah, but do you hold them accountable? Do you enforce? Do you coach? Do you mentor? Do you have mentor? Do you have an agenda? Typically, you walk down the hall and you say, "Hey, project manager, how's it going? Oh, great. Are you on schedule on that job? Yeah, pretty much. You got all the subcontracts let, ordered, signed, sealed, delivered. Yeah, sort of. Eh, almost. I'm in good shape. Uh, what what else? Uh, you, have you met with the owner? Yeah, he's okay. What about change orders? You got all the change orders signed, approved before you started? Well, pretty much. Trust me, boss. I'll t I'll get it done. Don't worry about it. So what you've done is gotten the typical answer most people will spit out just to get you off their back. Most people don't want to be put on the spot. Most people want to avoid pain. It's what I call the pain avoidance management problem. I want to know where you are. I don't want to cause pain. I just want to help you as your manager Get the project done on time, on budget, safe, quality, customer happy, get paid, get all the change orders signed. I just want to see if you're doing your job and if you need some help. And if you're not doing your job, I need to know about it because we got to kick it in gear. I've got a lot of clients I work with and I go in their office and they're, you know, they're four weeks behind on billing clients. What's up with that? The project manager never got around to it. So pretty much done, sort of, means no. It's either yes or no. The change orders are all signed, yes or no. All the subcontracts are out, yes or no. There's no, well, sort of, pretty much, I'll take care of it. Are you on schedule? Well, sort of, nah, that's a definite no. So you've got to be real clear to get a legitimate, definitive answer. It's yes or no. So the managing manager is the person in charge of, a, of another manager or another supervisor or a group of managers or supervisors whose job is to get things done, like build projects, like get the accounting and finance in your company organized, get the estimating accomplished in a positive sales, to get the sales to accomplish wins, right? So a managing manager is the person who holds people accountable, helps, motivates, mentors, the people that report to them directly. So they lead, they oversee, they direct and help plan for their team. They hold them accountable to make sure they're doing their job as required. They enforce strategy and system. They wanna make sure everything's getting done the right way. They monitor the workload to make sure there's enough people and manpower and, and women power to get the job done. And they work hard to continually promote, improve, encourage people to want to move to the next level. So the managing manager has a top priority. One of their top priorities is to be an effective manager of their people. It takes time, a time commitment. Part of your day has to be managing and working with your people. And a lot of really busy owners, presidents, general managers just don't take the time to manage their managers. So you've got to have a regular weekly meeting, one-on-one, -on -one, first of all, with your assistant. So you can make sure things get done. Check on people, get reports, make appointments, help you solve some problems, do some things for you that you really don't want to do, and, and basically be a great team member for you. So you have to meet with them every day and go through the list of things you want them to do. The second thing is we've got to make sure we're reviewing all the financial results for the company. And thirdly, we got to make sure we're managing the workload properly. So we've got to have regular weekly meetings with our direct reports. And then of course, we got to stop wandering around. We got to hold regular meetings with estimating department, make sure they stay on track. Every week we got to meet with the project managers, anybody who reports to us directly, the general superintendent, one-on-one -on -one meeting, face-to-face, -face, going through the list. What do you want your project manager to do? Well, he's got to get subcontracts out, submittals, shop drawings, schedule updates, customer meetings, job cost updates, uh, estimate cost to complete, scorecards for the field managers, documentation. There's lots to do. I want to make sure it's getting done. So that's a regular weekly meeting with each project manager one-on-one. -on -one. I need to meet with finance as the general manager and the president of my company. 
and go through the, the things, the payables, receivables, the, the financial statements, the profit and loss, the over under billings, the whip schedule. I got to make sure it's all getting done. And then I got to make sure I have a regular foreman meeting or superintendent meeting happening in my company. And I don't have to lead it. I just like to be there and, until I outgrow my, my position and time uh, ability to, to be there, right? But I want to make sure there's a regular foreman or superintendent meeting at least every couple of weeks. And then I want to have a management team meeting every month where I go through the P&L, the, the goals, the sales, the profits, the future, where are we, our backlog, all those kinds of things, strategy on a regular basis. And then quarterly, I want to make sure I'm having an all-company meeting, an all-team meeting where we go through the state of the union, new jobs, bad jobs, good jobs, performance, successes, failures, training, safety, all those kinds of things. So that kind of gives you an overview of what I want my managing manager to do, accomplish, and achieve on a regular basis. So if you need some help getting that organized and figured out in your company, give me a call. I'd love to help you. Just email me and we'll set a time to talk. Yeah.